This conference will now be recorded. Hi guys, today's physics lesson is going to be electromagnetism. So uh, before starting, please uh, pause the video right here, grab your physics copybooks and open this. Uh, while I'm explaining, please uh, take notes essential um, parts. So um, electromagnetism lesson will have uh, the following learning objectives. Electromagnets, uh, differences and similarities between permanent magnets and electromagnets. So, working principle of relay and electric motor. Let's get started with uh, the revision of magnetism. You already know that the source of magnetism is bar magnets or any magnet which has uh, north and south poles. Uh, we will call these magnets like permanent magnet. Why we are calling them like that? Most of the magnets are made of from uh, steel. This uh, magnetic property is related to material itself. Uh, we cannot turn this off. We cannot increase or decrease that. Uh, it, it's a natural property of the magnet, and that's why it's called permanent magnet. Uh, and you already know that attraction repulsion between these magnets, uh, light poles will repel each other and light poles will attract each other. And there are some magnetic materials that can be attracted by the magnet, iron, cobalt, nickel, steel. So you already know that direction of the magnetic field from north to the south and um, in the poles, south and north poles, magnetic fields are so strong. But here and here you can see the lines are not so close to each other, and that's why magnetic field is uh, weak there. Uh, so, but today we will learn uh, another source of magnetic field. This source is called current, uh, and uh, as you can see from this simple um, electric circuit, current is moving in this direction. Here you can see the magnetic field's direction like circle. The current carrying wires uh, create a magnetic field like circle, like this. Uh, in order to find out the direction of the, this magnetic field, it's uh, going in this way or in the opposite way, we are using right hand rule. Uh, you just need to point your uh, thumb in the direction of the current, and curled fingers of yours will show uh, the direction of the magnetic field. As you can see in this picture, uh, in this picture, you are seeing that the current is moving in that direction, the downward direction. So if you point your uh, thumb in the right hand thumb in the direction of the current, uh, which is pointing in the uh, downwards, uh, curled fingers will move uh, in this direction, which is showing the direction of the magnetic field. It's the opposite. Um, example for uh, before uh, here is the current is moving upward direction you just need to point your uh, thumb in the direction of the current curled fingers will show magnetic fields direction like this we can see here it's called the right hand grip rule so uh, if we make when the is wrapped into a coil like this uh, it's before it's a straight light or uh, wire we just wrap this um, into the coil. In the coil, the magnetic field is a similar shape to the magnetic field of permanent magnet. If we make the uh, the wire like this, the magnetic field around this will be exactly the same magnetic field around this permanent magnet. This shape is called uh, solenoid. So. Uh, as you can see, uh, the solenoid will have on north and south poles. And um, you can see because of this current, which is passing through that, the current direction is coming in this way, going out this way. Because of the, this current, this uh, solenoid make uh, the magnetic field around this. If the current is not moving around the circuit, it means that the magnetic field will disappear, uh, which means that uh, magnetic field around, around the, uh, the wire depends on the uh, current. Uh, so you can see there is a, a link between the electricity uh, and the magnetism. Because of that reason, we call this solenoid like electromagnet. Electromagnet, why? Because it makes magnetic field 
because of the current. Uh, so uh, how can we find out this is a North Pole, this is a South Pole? Because on permanent magnet, it's easy for us to see. Yes, it's uh, here is written and here is written as, but on the solenoid, uh, actually, we should find out here is North Pole, here is South Pole. There will not be any representation for this. Uh, the North and South Poles or direction of the, uh, the negative field around the electromagnet depends on the current. Uh, we, again, we will use our right hand, right hand grip rule again. We should wrap fingers around the solenoid. Let's look at this example. In this example, current is moving in that direction, moving upward here, is moving like that, is going here upward again. You should grab uh, the solenoid, the direction of the current. Let's draw this here. Is current is moving that direction like that, is moving again like this and moving this direction. The current's direction is moving upwards. You should use your right hand, uh, hands four fingers in that direction like this. The right, uh, the uh, four fingers is pointing uh, in the same direction of the current that this thumb will show North Pole. Always thumb will show the North Pole. Uh, I know that uh, in the first uh, right hand grip rule, uh, we just use our uh, right hand in order to find the magnetic field's direction. Our magnetic field's direction uh, was finding with aid of uh, these curled fingers. But in this example, uh, in a solenoid shape, uh, this thumb will show the magnetic field, this thumb will show the North Pole, and it's obvious that the opposite pole will be South Pole. Uh, so here is the explanation in, for this right hand grip rule. You can make your hand like this or like that. In, in the uh, two cases, you, you are seeing that the thumbs uh, will be showing the North Pole. <clears throat> So um, again, uh, then it will have the same property uh, of um, the permanent magnet. If we uh, put um, the unlike poles together in the solenoid, they will attract each other like this. In the solenoid, south and north pole will attract each other. If we put uh, unlike uh, like poles together, in the first one, unlike poles we put, they will attract each other. In the second one, we put the uh, like poles together, they will repel each other. It's happening in the same way in permanent magnets. So uh, <clears throat> electromagnets uh, can be, um, uh, strength of the magnetic field around the electromagnets can be increased and decrease, decreasing. So uh, in order to increase this, uh, we need to increase the current and increase the number of coils around the electromagnet and using an iron core. Iron core uh, is just um, the iron uh, which is putting inside this uh, solenoid. So to remember in the easy way, you just need to memorize 3C current, coils, and core. These three reasons <clears throat> help us to increase the strength of magnetic field around electromagnet. So here's the easy uh, example for you. Which electromagnet is the strongest? So uh, coils, uh, number of coils are the same. Uh, here's the current is one amp, here's the current is three amp. It's obvious that, uh, as I mentioned before, if you increase the current, the strength of magnetic field around the electromagnet will be increasing. And that's why in the second one, in the second circuit, uh, the magnetic field around this electromagnet uh, will be higher than this one because current is higher here. So uh, the electromagnet are used a lot, but the first, um, the, well, um, Anyone say that uh, where we can use the electromagnet uh, um, the easily? Uh, actually, the first uh, device which is coming to the mind this uh, is that scrap yard because scrap yard is a device that to pick up move heavy pieces of scrap metals. Uh, in inside this device, this part inside this part, there is a huge electromagnet. 
instead of this electromagnet, if we put inside this huge permanent magnet, yes, permanent magnet will attract these pieces, but that will be challenging for us to take out that pieces. Because in the electromagnet, it's easy for us to, uh, to take these pieces with aid of electromagnet and the pole is in the uh, one place. Why? Because electromagnet uh, magnets, magnetic field depends on uh, the uh, current. If you turn off the, um, the current, um, it means that magnetic field around the electromagnet will be disappeared. And that's why the pieces which is attracted to the electromagnet will fall down. It's uh, actually uh, the best advantage of electromagnet over a permanent magnet. So uh, similarities between permanent magnet and electromagnet is that both of them have magnetic field around them. Both of them have, are at the source of electromagnetism. Uh, sorry, so both has uh, north and south poles. Light poles repel each other, and light poles attract each other. Uh, differences between them is that the permanent magnet always create magnetic field around, but electromagnet only create magnetic field when electric current flows through current. So. Uh, sorry, through um, circuit. Uh, strength cannot be changed in the permanent magnet, but in the electromagnet, uh, strength can be changed. It depends on number of coils, core, and current. So a permanent magnet cannot be turned off, but a uh, magnetic field around this cannot be turned off, but electromagnet's magnetic field can be turned off and on. It depends on, again, current. Uh, so, a uh, permanent magnet uh, poles cannot be changed, but electromagnet poles can be changed easily. Again, it depends on direction of the current. Let's look at it quickly. Uh, in this example, you are seeing that here is the current is coming in this direction, coming out that direction, north here, south here. If we um, change the direction of the current, if the current is going this way and coming out this way, the poles will also change. It will be here south, there will be here north. <clears throat> so it depends on again current. Uh, a permanent magnet, we said before, that is related to material itself. It's a natural property of um, a material, but in electromagnet, actually, um, we can, it's, uh, it can be operated. We can change this, we can turn this off, we can decrease, increase that. Because of that, uh, electromagnets are also called temporary magnets. It's not uh, permanent. We can uh, manipulate this. So um, <clears throat> there is another use of uh, electromagnets, which are called relay. Uh, I know that when the first time you look at this, you will not understand anything. Just um, uh, after my explanation, please look at this carefully. Uh, first of all, uh, you know that there are some machines, there are some equipments that uh, are uh, using uh, higher uh, voltage to run, higher current to run. To make it safer for the operator, we use a low voltage and current. Look, here is the two circuits. In this circuit uh, are uh, working with higher voltage and higher current. This circuit uh, are working with lower volt voltage and lower current. Uh, uh, while uh, you, um, first of all, while you are turning on this uh, switch, current passing through this circuit and passing through the coils of this electromagnet, while it's passing through that, there is a complete circuit when you turn on this. Uh, the, there, uh, there will be a magnetic field around this electromagnet the magnetic field means that magnetic will, will attract the magnetic materials, iron, nickel, cobalt, steel. Uh, this uh, next uh, switch um, is uh, made up from one of these material and it, it will be attracted. It will uh, magnetically pull, uh, the, this magnetic field's magnetic field pull switch into the close position to a low current flow. And that will come to the closed position because there is a magnetic field around that will attract this. Because of that, there will be a complete circuit. And you know, through the complete circuit, the current will pass through. Uh, higher current, higher voltage will pass through. And you see, uh, with aid of this lower current, lower um, uh, voltage circuit, we are uh, operating 
higher current and higher uh, the circuit which have a higher current and higher um, voltage. So uh, because because of that relay is called electromagnetic switch. This part is called relay. This part is called relay, and it's also called electromagnetic switch. Uh, there is another um, picture of the relay here. Let's look at this. This conference will now be recorded. Here is the, uh, another type of relay. But the working principles are the same. So uh, this part uh, is uh, connected to the higher current circuit. Let's say that there is a circuit here. Let's draw this quickly. Here is the circuit. It has own cell here. So it, it has a higher current circuit because higher voltage it has. So there is another circuit here. It has low voltage and low current will pass through. Here there is a switch here. Let's see. So uh, <clears throat> this uh, circuit has a low so, uh, current and low voltage. This circuit will operate this uh, circuit which have a higher current and higher voltage. So when we close the switch, there will be complete circuit. The current will pass through the coils of the electromagnet and while it's passing through that, there will be magnetic field around this electromagnet. If there is an electromagnetic field, it means that magnetic field attract the, uh, the magnetic materials. Inside this, there is a metal bar, a metal bar, which also make the, uh, you know, the, the, the strongest uh, magnetic field around the electromagnet. So it can be moved. It can be slide, it can be moved because of this the iron block that can slide because of the iron slide, it can make this move around. So this contacts also made up from the iron, it can be easily um, attracted. So uh, while the current passing through the circuit around this, there is electrum, uh, the magnetic field, uh, field uh, will um, appear and uh, they will attract each other. They will attract each other. This cannot move, but this part can move, and this part will move here and will touch here. This part will move here and touch here, and it means that there will be complete circuit for the higher current circuit. Look, there will be current the, the uh, complete circuit for this, and uh, higher current, higher voltage will pass through here, and that's why this part. Only this part is called electromagnetic relay or electromagnetic switch. Hope you understand what's going on here. The higher current circuit is operated uh, by a uh, low current circuit with aid of electromagnet. It's explanation for the relay. Uh, so. Let's take a look at another uses of another use of uh, the electromagnet. It's a motor effect. When we put uh, the uh, the car the current carrying wire inside the magnetic field, it's a magnetic field. There is a north and south poles, and you know that a magnetic field is directed from north to the south. If we put middle of this the current because you know that current carrying wire make also all magnetic field uh, there is also another magnetic field here two magnetic field combination of two magnetic field make this uh, uh, the current carrying wire will uh, move upwards there will be force on this and it will move upwards and uh, the, why it's moving upwards because of um with aid of this left hand rule we can find out this just need to actually you will learn this left hand rule in AJCC. but if you are curious about this how it can be why it uh, don't move downwards just it's moving upwards you just need to use your not right hand and uh, now left hand your uh index uh, finger your index finger will show uh the magnetic fields direction as you can see here the magnetic fields direction is moving this way and you should use your left hand right now please use your left hand 
point your uh, index finger in the same direction of uh, the magnetic field. And so uh, your middle finger, your middle finger will show the direction of the current. Let's do it again. So um, you should point your middle finger in this direction. And you will see that the motion of this uh, wire will move up, upwards. Yes, it's correct. Here's also a wire moves upwards. And uh, with this way, uh, with uh, aid of this left hand rule, you can easily find out the, uh, the uh, motion of the current inside the motor effector. Uh, so, uh, also, there is an electric motor that consists of coil of wire. Uh, in the first uh, example, you see there is a one straight current carrying wire, but in this example, you are seeing that there is a coil. So, um, the magnetic field can be pr produced by the permanent magnet. Again, here is a permanent magnet. The, the, there was also permanent magnet here. The, actually, the same picture here, but the, the differences between them. This one is straight, straight current carrying wire, but this one is like coil, like this. So there is a permanent magnet uh, which make the magnetic field. Yeah, again, magnetic field is directed from north to south, like this. And um, this is a current carrying wire which is in coil shape it's a current uh, the, it, it, there is a current passing through here and that's why there will be again magnetic field around it has all magnetic field around this and there is another magnet which is uh, created by the permanent magnet so two uh, the combination of the two magnetic field mm, make the coil spin around like turning around like this but how it, it's possible, because you already know this uh, from left hand rule, maybe it can be hard for you. It's OK, just uh, you will uh, you are supposed to learn this left hand rule in IGCC. But I am saying again, if you are curious about this to learn how it's happening, please um, um, just watch this video till the end. Uh, you already know this, how, uh, how to use left hand rule in order to find the motion of the um, motion of the current carrying wire. Uh, you can apply the same method to this. Again, uh, you should uh, point your uh, index finger in the direction of the magnetic field, direction of the magnetic, magnetic, magnetic field like this. So uh, your uh, middle finger must be pointed in the direction of the current. Yes, direction of the current here. Let's look at this part only like this and your thumb again will show in the same direction upward direction yes and that's why it will move upwards what about this part let's look at this part again your index finger will must be show the magnetic field direction yes magnetic field direction is moving like that your um uh, the middle finger must show the direction of the current like this and uh, the thumb, your thumb will show the uh, direction of the uh, motion of the, this uh, part of wire and it will move downwards. If you check this, you will find out that it's a correct place. While I'm explaining, uh, use this left hand and do it by yourself <clears throat> and it will work. So uh, as you can see, it's moving up, it's moving down, and there will be turning effect. And there will be, it will come here, it will move here, and again the same, uh, the uh, more, uh, the forces will apply on this. Again, this part will move upward, this part move, part move downwards, and it will turn around 